This is your Catholic Daily Journal for Thursday, January the 31st, 2019. Today is the feast day of St. John Bosco. He was a priest in the northern Italian city of Turin who applied the so-called French school of spirituality to the post-industrial urban landscape of Italy. Bosco's insight was to approach the young and disenfranchised with three essential tools for happiness and self-betterment. Reason, religion, and loving kindness. He founded men's and women's religious orders to staff as many schools and orphanages. He wrote and taught vigorously and oversaw building projects, most notably the huge basilica in honor of Our Lady Help of Christians. Near his death in 1888, he saw a prophetic image of a ship tossed about by the ocean, being guided safely into port by a pope. The ship was passing between two pillars, with the Holy Eucharist atop one and the Blessed Virgin Mary atop the other. Bosco is an incredible priest, and all of us would do well to ask the Lord to send us a few more like him. Today in 1673, the birthday of the French priest St. Louis-Marie Grignon de Montfort, another priest of the French school of spirituality who, like John Bosco, drew inspiration for his teaching from St. Francis de Sales. St. Louis was most associated with devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary, and he wrote a famous series of meditations which form a preparation for a solemn consecration of oneself to the Blessed Virgin Mary after 33 days of prayer. His work is broadly available online, and it's tragically underread because of the attention that's usually given to those 34 short meditations. He was deeply beloved and strongly recommended by Pope St. John Paul II and Pius IX, X, and X and XI. Pius XII canonized de Montfort and said that he is the guide who leads you to Mary and from Mary to Jesus. And he was born today in 1673. In 1797 today, Austrian composer Franz Schubert was born in Himmelfortgrund outside of Vienna. He was baptized in the local Catholic Church the next day, and as with so many great composers of the era, his life was tragically short. He died at the age of 31, but not before composing some of the greatest musical works in the schools of classicism and romanticism. In his 31 years, he published 600 secular vocal works, seven complete symphonies, countless pieces of sacred music, a few operas, and a large body of piano and chamber music. Absolutely incredible. Schubert's work is sadly neglected because of the popularity even now of his more famous and somewhat contemporaneous colleagues. It's hard to shine next to Mozart and Beethoven. Still, Franz Schubert is a true master, and he was born today in 1797. Finally, today is the birthday of Nat Bailey, who will be familiar to Canadian listeners. He invented the car hop window-mounted food tray that made the drive-in restaurant and the roller diner possible. He founded the White Spot at 67th and Granville Street in Vancouver, B.C., and he was famous among his employees for making surprise visits to the White Spots all over, decked out in white gloves, and he would test the, for cleanliness in the kitchen and the service area. All of this was years before McDonald's would standardize the fast food industry in the United States and North America. The White Spot is still alive today, and it's still selling pirate packs to little ones all across British Columbia. Nat Bailey wasn't a Canuck. He was born in St. Paul, Minnesota, but his parents moved the family north when Nat was 11. And I'm sure plenty of happy Canadian customers are very, very happy that he did. The Catholic Daily Journal is supported by listeners like you. For more information, visit catholicunderground.com. Until next time, be on the lookout for the Lord at work in your life.